Researchers in Europe now say taking progestin-only birth control comes with a 20 to 30 percent increase in breast cancer risk. While they, that may sound significant, LEX 18 in-depth reporter Christiana Ford talked to an expert to get to the bottom of what those numbers really mean for women. Social media is putting health advice. So this is my cholesterol while I was on birth control. At your fingertips, like warnings from influencers about hormonal birth control increasing risk for cancers. Social media is great because there's so much information that's really easily accessible. But again, information has to be taken with a little bit of context and understanding how to interpret that data. Dr. Rachel Saunders is a professor and gynecologist with UK Healthcare. She says advice without context is like a fridge without food. Now it's important to look at two different things. One is your relative risk versus your actual risk. And so your relative risk means if you're doing something and the next person to you is not, what is the chances that something bad is going to happen because you're doing this thing and your neighbor is not? In the most recent study about birth control, researchers now believe progestin-only contraceptives come with a 20 to 30 percent increase in breast cancer risk. Saunders says this is referring to a typical person's relative risk and everyone's actual risk will look different. You have to look at like, what are your chances of actually getting breast cancer, you know, because you're, you're talking about a 20 to 30 percent increase over your lifetime probably never getting this, you know, so. But as a black woman, because I have a higher risk, that is something I need to talk to about with my doctor. Yes. If you or someone you know takes birth control, progestin, the synthetic form of the naturally occurring hormone progesterone, is used in pills, implants, injections, and IUDs. And progesterone is a hormone that actually helps keep you pregnant if you are to get pregnant. Um, when you're not pregnant, it is a hormone that helps kind of stabilize the lining of your uterus so it doesn't get too thick. In context, Dr. Saunders says the short-term use of combined and progestin-only birth control only increases risk by about half a percent. When you actually look at your lifetime risk for breast cancer when you're on birth control versus being not, it goes from 1 in 8 here in America plus the math to 1.2 in 8. So we're actually talking about a very small increase in risk. The take-home message talking to your doctor and coming up with a plan that feels comfortable for you and for your doctor. Not an influencer or even your aunt. Because birth control has also proven to decrease risk for ovarian, colon, and uterine cancer. So it's about perspective. Yes, all about perspective. In Lexington, Christiana Ford, Evening Edition. Google searches in Kentucky for birth control increased last June, around the time Roe v. Wade was overturned. So did searches for stories about links between birth control and cancer.